Hi everyone, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, today we will see one of the most frequently asked interview questions which is like what is a data frame and how it differs from RDD. In the previous videos, we have discussed about RDDs and we have applied some transformations and actions to see how we can work with RDDs. So on a quick summary right, an RDD is the basic abstraction in Apache Spark. It is an immutable distributed collection of elements of a data partitioned and distributed across the workers node, worker nodes in the Spark cluster. This we have seen and we have discussed elaboratedly by applying some transformations and actions on uh, some sample data sets to see how RDD uh, we can perform transformations on the RDDs. Okay, so now this is about the introduction of the RDD. But while working with RDDs, the developers found some issues like any computation that you perform on top of an RDD is opaque to Spark core, means it is kind of uh, concrete. Hence, there is no built in optimization can be done on this. RDDs okay hence they started thinking about an approach which can be optimized and which can have all the advantages that we are getting from RDDs and which can help us to work with some code base where uh, most of the developers can perform the coding like SQL if you take right if you take any other language there will be some connection with the SQL either to persist the data or the pull the data or uh, at, at least to query the data to, to just check the sampling of the data before they do some any kind of action. So most of the people are in touch with SQL. So uh, the, they started thinking whoever working on impl implementing the Spark, right, the, the project, the constant project people, they started thinking about of having something which is as good as RDD plus optimizations can be done. And then keeping all these in mind, the project has come up with data frames from version 1.3, Spark version 1.3, okay. So data frames are like distributed in-memory tables with named columns and schemas and data types, okay. We can consider that as a table for developers and this data frame comes with a wide range of transformations to perform like read, write, joins, aggregations and along with the built-in optimization framework. Because of this, Spark is able to construct an efficient execution plan resulting in better performance as compared to the RDD. Okay, so what is this uh, uh, optimization technique like as I said catalyst optimizer and all we have already discussed. I will give in the i button. Please if you wanted to check what is a, uh, this one catalyst optimizer, please go through that video as well. Okay, next coming to the cluster point of view, whenever a PySpark program is executed using RDDs, right? There will be large overhead to execute the job. Why so? If you see here, in the PySpark driver, the Spark context of the session uses Py4j to launch JVM using the Java Spark context. Any RDD transformation that are initially mapped to Python RDD objects in Java. Once these tasks are pushed to the workers, Python RDD objects launch Python sub processes using pipes to send both the code and data to be processed within the Python. These are the Spark workers and using the pipes, the Python sub processes will be called. So using this only we will send the code and data to be processed within Python. This approach allows PySpark to distribute the processing of data to multiple Python subprocesses or multiple workers. There will be lot of context switching and communication overhead between Python and the JVM. Because of this, we will see some performance issues while working with the PySpark RDDs because of this context switch between the uh, like uh, Python and the JVM. So when working with the data frames, it comes with a catalyst optimizer which compiles and optimizes a logical plan and it has a cost optim optimizer that determines the most efficient physical plan generated. 
so this is the main reason under the hood if you see right this is the main reason why rd uh, like uh, uh, data frames are having better performance with rdds okay hope this is useful to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you